Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what are flaps, the advantages, and the types of flaps. First, let's understand what are flaps. Flaps are a type of secondary flight control surfaces, which are normally installed on the trailing edge of the wing. When the flaps are extended, they increase the lift and the drag and reduce the stall speed. These factors play an important role during takeoff and during landing. Let's look at the advantages of flaps. Advantages of flaps When the flaps are extended, they increase the cord, camber, and surface area of the wing. This results in an increase in the lift and drag forces acting on the wing. This is because both lift and drag are directly dependent on these factors, along with the speed and the density of the air. The flaps generally have different settings or angles, which can be selected from the cockpit. Depending on whether the aircraft is going to take off or coming to land, the flap settings change. Flap settings during takeoff, a lower setting of the flaps is selected, or a smaller angle of extension of the flaps. This is to minimize drag as much as possible. After takeoff, the flaps are retracted completely to reduce the drag generated by the flaps. During approach, a higher setting of the flaps is selected, or a greater angle of extension of the flaps. This results in more lift being generated, and at the same time, the drag also increases, which reduces the speed of the aircraft. By extending the flaps, the stall speed reduces, which means the aircraft can fly safely, at lower speeds. Now let's look at, the different types of flaps. Plane flaps These flaps, are connected to a hinge, at the trailing edge of the wing. These flaps rotate downwards when extended. There is a limitation to the angle of extension and the amount of lift that this flap can generate. This is because, when the flaps are extended, the air flowing over the top surface of the wing loses its energy, which can lead to flow separation over the wings. Split flaps These flaps extend downwards from the lower surface of the wing. These flaps produce more lift when compared to plain flaps, but also produce more drag. This is why these flaps are not commonly used. Slotted flaps When these flaps are extended, there is a slot created between the wings and the flaps. The high pressure air from the bottom of the wing flows through the slots and over the flaps. This increases the energy of the air on the top surface of the wing and prevents flow separation. The result is more lift and less drag. Fowler flaps These flaps are just like split flaps, but the Fowler flaps travel backwards initially and then extend downwards. When the flaps extend rearwards, the wing area increases, which will increase the lift. However, there is no significant increase in the drag. This setting is ideal for takeoff. When the flaps move downwards, the camber increases. There is a small increase in lift, but a significant increase in drag. This setting is ideal for landing. Fowler flaps or a variation of Fowler flaps are installed on most aircraft. A variation of Fowler flaps. Double slotted Fowler flap. This is a combination of slotted flaps and the Fowler flaps. The flap moves rearward and then extends downwards. There are two slots in these flaps, which allows air to flow from the bottom of the wing to the top surface of the flaps. This gives a significant increase in the lift that is generated and greater angle of extension. That's all for my video on the flaps in an aircraft. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.